I know. You're looking forward to it, right? I have a special guest with us. He is back. Coach Stone. Danny Stone in the building. Danny Stone in the building. Coach Stone. Speaker, speaker, coach, uh, TV guest, expert. I can't even talk. (laughs) I'm so excited to see you, Danny Stone. I'm back and getting my R and R, my red and Ritz. Uh, Back for Mindset Monday. Uh, Danny Stone. Such a powerful name, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. My mom and my daddy. Okay, so I wanted to bring you in today to talk about um, how to have an abundant mindset with so much going on in the world right now and so much going on in our city. Interest rates are up. Um, You know, people are losing their homes. Uh, Listen, the struggle is real. So how can we have an abundant lifestyle, an abundant mindset, Danny Stone? It comes down to unlocking that inner champion. See, all of us have a champion inside of us. And sometimes when we are in the midst of difficulties, we don't see that inner strength, that inner potential, that inner courage that we have. And it starts with realizing that we've been through challenging things before and we can do it again. And so for me, I think that there's really four changes that we have to make. And if we learn to make those four changes, we'll, we'll change our situation. And we'll unlock that true inner champion that we have within us. Okay. And how do we make these four changes? Yeah. So the first change that we have to change is change our language, right? When something bad happens or things aren't going the way that we want, like let's say, for instance, you lose your car or your home, you have very negative language. You think of yourself as a loser, as a failure. We have to change that because that's not true, right? We have to start speaking power and truth into ourselves, whether it's affirmations, whether it's, you know, knowing that you have an inner strength, you'll figure it out, giving yourself the power back, right? The situation doesn't take away from your power and who you are. And so I think that starts with changing your language, using very positive language, affirmations. What type of music are you listening to? All of those words matter. Who are you listening to? I'm listening to Red and Ritz every morning. <laughs> no, I meant, no, no, I know, nice. I'm joking. I meant like who no. you're listening to, no, I listen to in I, your ears. No, I meant that, no, like know, who they're listening to. I, I listen to a, like a lot of um, uh, positive affirmations. Right. I listen to a lot of Afro beats. I listen to R&B. I listen to like a lot of uplifting music, right? Right. That's what I listen to, podcasts. Those are the things that you're going to find uh, in my playlist. Right. And number two? Number two, you got to change your perspective. You know, the the late Wayne Dyer said, uh, if you change the way you look at things, things change. Right. And what that means is if you're always looking for the negativity in things, you're going to see that. But if you can start to see the positivity in something, it's going to change. You know, we talked a little bit about a friend of mine who lost their home and they, right. they were devastated. And, and I said, you know, what's what's the positive in this? Mm-hmm. And he started rhyming off all these things. Now I can invest. I can do this. We can travel. All these things So when you start to look at things differently, you change your perspective. Now you can see opportunities in that difficulty. Right. And number three? Number three, you got to change your actions. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing every day? What you're doing might not be working for you. So you know that you have to make these changes. You know you got to go to the gym. You know you got to exercise. You know you got to meditate. You know you got to put negative people at a distance and surround yourself with positive people. We know that we need to do that. Right. And number four? And number four is you got to change your habits. Those habits that you have that aren't serving you well, you need to change those habits. So are you going to the gym? Are you exercising? What are the things that you're doing every day that's on autopilot that's going to help you to get to the next level? It's going to help you to break through those challenging times. Even going to bed earlier, I'm trying that. Water, drinking your water. Yep. Definitely, that's a big one. Your diet. Definitely diet. Yes. See, you know, food is a reflection of how you feel. Right. So if you're not feeling good about yourself, you're going to eat a lot of junk food and and it just creates this perpetual cycle. You're never going to feel better because you're always eating this food that makes you feel sluggish and tired. So you're right. Food is a big part of it. So we got to change our diet. I like that. I'm really like I'm really about trying to change my mindset. I'm always working on it. And it's a struggle sometimes. And um you know, sometimes I, there, there was a time in, in my past where it was a really dark time. It was, I don't want to call it dark, but it was a very difficult time. And, you know, sometimes people are like, oh, get over it or whatever you're going through. But sometimes you have to really ride through it. What's the best way to ride through it, do you think? 
Well, I think to feel the pain. Like uh, sometimes uh, some of us, we, we try to fast forward through the pain. And then we end up in the situation over and over again. So sometimes you got to feel that pain, but you got to give yourself a certain amount of time to feel the pain, right? So it's like, I'm just going to give myself a week or two or six months and whatever time you need to take that and then, and then try to bounce back. Yeah. Don't stay in that cycle. Give yourself some, some, give yourself some time to feel that. So you got to go from feeling to healing. Right. And the faster, what I've realized about life, the faster that you actually heal, the faster you can move on from any situation. But what sometimes holds us back is our thoughts. Yeah. And also the reality, what's going around, you know, what's what's around us. Yeah. Sometimes we want to move through it, but it's it's hard when when it could be money, it could be love, it could be a job, it could be, you know, uh, uh, a situation in your life sometimes you really just have to go through it yeah. but thank you for sharing those mindset tips thank you i like that what did you call it champion your inner champion your inner champion that's right that's right i'm gonna tap into my inner champion <laughs> i love it i love it yeah. i think that and i think you know for myself sometimes i have a little soundtrack in my head don't ask ritz what song it is <laughs> Ritz probably knows it. <laughs> uh, today's is not good. Yeah, today it wasn't good. Okay. What it was it? Just put I, it in my... I, I can only... Oh, I can... Just, oh, no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. no, 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 no. No, <laughs> it came out wrong, okay? That was not my... <laughs> that was not my inner chat, or maybe it is. <laughs> um, Danny, always a pleasure to have you here. Please share your Instagram with us. Yeah, you can find me on social media at I am Danny Stone, and uh, on Instagram or Facebook, we have a community called Champion U. Wow. You unlock that inner champion. Yeah, he didn't just make it up right now. No. <laughs> Do you find that you have a lot of men or women coming to you trying to unlock their inner champion? I'm curious. Both. Yeah. Yeah. Both men. It's almost 50 50. What do you think is a blockage why some of us cannot unlock our inner champion? Or yeah. why it's difficult? Well, it's those things I said, but a big part of it is we're not clear about what it is that we want. So we're chasing all these different things, we're comparing ourselves to other people. And we're around a lot of negative people. Right. Those are the three biggest reasons I see people just can't break Why do you think that's that's that? Like, I've noticed that uh, with friends, and it's friends that I actually love. You know, like I did a photo shoot, and I showed two friends, and then it was like, it was just the negativity. Like, oh, I don't like your face like that. I don't like this. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. I don't. And I was like, whoa, that's not even what I was trying to do. They haven't even been edited. And I know I don't look whack. Yeah. And... I was just trying to really understand why so much negativity. And I realize maybe I'm just more sensitive to it now in life. But why do you think? I mean, before I didn't want to be the person that's like, oh, she's jealous or he's jealous. Mm -hmm. But I really see it now. People are jealous and it really is a reflection of themselves. Would you agree? Um, to a certain extent. Sometimes it might be jealousy, but sometimes how can, how can we expect someone else to see uh, our greatness or to see us trying to make our life better when they can't when they're not at that place mm. so it's easier for them to criticize than it is to take action and right. we've all been there like we can all say whatever now that we're in a place but we've all maybe criticized somebody else or thought that was a stupid idea because we might have been in a place where we couldn't change our or we weren't ready to change our situation so it's easier just to be negative towards someone else who's who's trying to better themselves right and being catty i think for myself especially when it comes to like on the work side yeah i'm happy for everyone i think because a friend of mine said it they said red you are so focused on getting to the next level that that's what you're always about right and i and it's true i don't even have I don't even have time to look in somebody else's grass, right. you know, yeah. because I'm so and I think too, being being a single mom all these years, I've always been focused like I don't have time to hate on you. I'm so busy trying to get to Miami. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I'm busy trying yeah. to, yeah. you know, go go it's to true. Bora Bora. I'm so busy trying to get to the next level of my career constantly. Yeah. I'm so busy trying, you know, to buy another property right. to to, to make strides as a single mom. I told you before, buying three properties on my own. So yeah, I think it's hard for me when someone brings negativity. Yeah. So it's really interesting that you said, stay away from that. And I think with age and maturity now, I just don't even want to be around it. Yeah. I just you know? Some people just aren't ready to make that change. We've all been there. We stayed at a right. job, job too long. We stayed in relationships too long. We stayed in bad situations too long. We've all been there. So 
you know, it's now that we've moved through that, we can look at other people and see that they're stuck there. But people just have to go through that for themselves. They have to get to a place where they want to create a better, better life for themselves right. and do something about it. And to block out negativity, how do you do that? Do you say nicely, like, okay, I'm going to get off this phone call? Or do you just not answer? Do you stay away? Do you, you know? Whatever works for you. But yeah. I protect my energy. I'm not around a lot of negative people. What do you people. do? But I'm you not... also you also work for yourself. Yeah, but, I, you know, even... You know, so even... you're not really out there. I think with you, whoever comes to you is coming at you for help. There's yeah. a big difference. Yeah, but even when, when I was working in the corporate world, you have right. to deal with certain people. But you don't, you don't have to choose to spend more time with those individuals, right? There's certain things that you have to do with those negative people in your environment, maybe. But then you don't have to spend more time with them. So you limit. You can't completely cut some people off depending on your relationship. But you can limit your interaction with those individuals. Yeah. And you can make them aware of their negative energy. Because sometimes people don't, they're not aware. They're just so stuck and they're so angry and they're trying to figure things out. They don't, they don't realize that they're projecting this negative energy. You know you're gifted, right? You, you know that. So, thank you. You're very gifted. The way that you just articulated that about negative energy, where you're at, and when you're when you're trying to focus on where you need to be and to have an abundant mindset, you need to cut all the negativity out. I like that. Yeah. So thank you so much, Danny Stone. Hit him up on IG, and you definitely have to come back. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right. Mindset Monday. When we get back, the big mix with DJ Ritz. Ritz, what can we expect? Uh, we going smooth today. That's what it's yeah. all about. Right now, let's check in with traffic at 754.